It's a story that had people fired up all across the state. A high school trap shooting team not being allowed to pose with their guns for their yearbook photo. Today we learned Big Lake High School has changed that its decision and will allow this picture to be featured among the other sports teams in the yearbook. Having firearms in a photo was originally against school policy. WCCO's Jeff Wagner talked with the coach who's relieved her team is being treated just like the others. There was no competition Thursday for the Big Lake High School trap shooting team, but their coach says they still found a way to score a win. I guess it was victory. We get the trap shooting team picture in the yearbook. Most importantly, this specific picture, which shows the team holding their shotguns. Administrators originally barred it because school policy didn't allow pictures with firearms. It seemed a little asinine that they wouldn't allow the photo of the group that they sanctioned to be inside of the yearbook. Rob Dorr is the political director of the Gun Owners Caucus. When he caught wind of the controversy, he knew he had to help the team. We immediately mobilized our supporter base. We uh, sent out an email and we put engaged in our social media to have people contact the athletic director, the school principal, and the school superintendent. Parents of players and other community members did the same. Less than 24 hours later, administrators created an exception to the policy. Not only will the photo be allowed in the yearbook, it will be on display in the school. I want to thank them very much. I really do. I mean, it was awesome. I'm unfortunate that it had to come to this. I never in a million years wanted it to come to this. Trap shooting is one of the fastest growing high school sports in the state, and being recognized alongside their equipment might be gaining steam as well. I'm hoping that maybe pave the way for other schools to get their trap picture in it and not have to deal with what I had to. In the press release from administrators, they said the intense conversation involving this topic on social media and the phone calls and emails they received only delayed the process of amending the policy. However, they went on to say they appreciate feedback and comments from the public and everyone involved with this story feels it truly was that community support that made the difference. And for that, Coach Eckert and the players are really thankful. All right, Jeff. Thank you. Mm -hmm.